Kesultanan Negara. Tarik balik! Selaras dengan itu, sesi libat urus pindaan Akta 313 telah diadakan bersama dengan pihak Tarik balik! Tarik balik! Iaitu... The day one record sitting today turned chaotic after the motion to debate the seizure of Petronas assets by the purported heirs of the Sulu Sultanate was rejected. Speaker Azhar Azizan Harun cited subjudice rules which prevent the lower house from debating matters in court. MPs including Ram Karpal Singh accused Azhar of conflict of interest as the latter's brother Idrus Harun is involved in the Petronas matter in his capacity as Attorney General. After rejecting this notion, Azhar ordered Energy and Natural Resources Minister Takyudin Hassan to proceed with the second reading of the National Forestry Amendment Bill 2022. However, some MPs did not let up, with Kota Barut MP Isna Raiza Munira Majilis pointing out that this was a matter of national sovereignty. As the MPs continued to talk over Takyudin, an audibly frustrated Azhar shouted at them. Tolonglah Duduk Ini lagi penting Silakan yang Mbak Menteri Apa cerita hutan ini Kedaulatan negara yang tercemar Bani This failed to quell the dissenting MPs Who continue to protest his decision Not long after Deputy Speaker Rashid Hasnun Tapped in to oversee the Dewan Rakyat proceedings Continued protests then prompted Rashid to warn Isna Raiza to sit down, to which she refused, resulting in him issuing a two-day suspension against her. However, she refused to budge as the MPs closed ranks around her to prevent the Dewan Rakyat, Sergeant at Arms, from physically ejecting her. The MPs continued to voice objections and pressured for a debate as Takirun read the second reading of his bill in the background. After several minutes of this, Rashid relented and said he would retract the suspension against Isna Raiza if she would abide by the rules. He also said that his hands were tied on the debate and asked those unhappy to write an appeal today.